Hi guys, this is David. I wanted to make a quick update video for you guys to let you know my progress and let you know uh, what's been going um, as far as what I've been working on. Um, as you guys should know by now, if you've been seeing my videos recently, I am definitely saving up toward um, getting myself a van again. Um, I'm going to probably try to go ahead, well actually I am, I'm going to try to go ahead and see if I can get a um, cargo van, which is what I'm trying to save up towards. Uh, I did get my check today. And uh, I do still need to do some more saving though because I did recently also have to pay on my gym membership because I was several months behind actually. And I did also have to uh, pay my phone bill as well too. And uh, a few other things as far as gas and stuff like that. So I am still going to have to save some more money. But um, I'm going to show you guys. Uh, I thought that was shown on the screen as far as my picture as well too. But hopefully you can see this though. I am definitely trying to save up some money. I've got um, around 700 right now that I've got uh, that I can use as far as toward trying to uh, get a van going. But um, I still need to save some more because I'm not going to get you know anything that's pretty much like a bucket. I want to make sure that this time around I get something that you know is going to run decent and is at least halfway decent as far as the interior and the exterior of the van. So I'm not going to try to rush this this time and try to end up having tons of problems because of the fact of rushing it. Because as you guys know from the, the previous van I had, it was a bucket. It was pretty much a piece of crap. So um, this time around, I'm going to try to do it better. And I'm going to try to make sure I can get um, a better uh, running van and a uh, better looking van as much as possible. Now obviously I can't still get something that's going to be spectacular. So keep that in mind, um, but I'm still trying to get something that will for sure be decent though. And the way it's looking is that um, the ones I've been looking at so far, because I have been looking at several vans, is still going to be around a thousand or more as far as having something decent. So uh, I still need to save some more though. So I won't be able to get anything right now this time around, uh, but later on I'll talk about uh, how we can also maybe possibly um, accelerate that process as far as getting some money together but one of the other things I wanted to show you guys too is I have also been looking at uh, designs I've been looking at um, lots of van tours that people have so that way I can get a um, good understanding as far as how I want to set my van up when I do get it and right now this right here is looking like the best uh, design that I like the most now I mean I've seen lots of great designs so don't get me wrong but right now, this design right here that I'm looking at, um, in case you guys want to look up the video yourself too, it's, uh, Sprinter Van Diaries is the name of the YouTube channel. And they show here a Sprinter Van conversion that they have. Um, and it's uh, this setup that, this, that these guys have on this is my favorite one so far. Um, now obviously, I'm going to get myself a regular size uh, cargo van, so I'm not going to be able to do the exact same type of size that these guys have in here in this van uh, so mine will have to be a scaled down version but I still want to try to see if I can excuse me see if I can um, get it set up as close to this as possible when I do get my uh, van now <sighs> so uh, excuse me so yeah like I said I'm definitely going to be getting myself a cargo van now and but as far as the setup though I'd like to really try to see if I can set mine up just like this one is now, that being the case, of course, I'm going to also need to get uh, materials for it as well. Um, I'll need to get insulation as well, too, because I'm going to definitely make sure that the van's going to be insulated this time around instead of what I had before. <clears throat> and, um, then of course, I'll have to get um, cabinets made for it, uh, the bed frame made for it, and so forth. But like I said, you guys can take a look at this video as well, too, if you want, and see what I'm talking about as far as how this setup is, though. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys, too, is I am also even making the list so far of some of the things that I have seen that I want to get put into the van as well too. Um, one thing is going to be a fridge. So I have seen that um, the Medic is the way I'm going to go. I'm not sure exactly what size I'm going to do just yet though. 
maybe like a Dometic 35 or a Dometic 40 or something like that, but we'll see as far as the actual size of it. Uh, but the Dometic fridge is what I want to do for sure. Um, another thing I've looked at and seen that I'll probably want to try to go ahead and get to is a Wi-Fi um, network adapter. So that way it can extend the Wi-Fi signal. So that way I can be parked in a parking lot somewhere. And if there's a McDonald's down the street or um, maybe like Starbucks down the street or whatever, then I can be able to pick up their signal while I'm parked in a parking lot somewhere down the street. So I want to look into something like that as well too, possibly getting. And another thing I've seen that was interesting I didn't even know existed recently, seen it on somebody's video, was called a Brunton USB heating pad. Because I had already looked into possibly getting maybe a um, 12 volt system as far as a um, heating pad the type that you would normally put underneath the uh, underneath the seat to heat the seats up but of course it's something I can use in the bed for the winter time and um, I didn't know there was a such thing as a USB version of a heating pad so I'm going to be looking into that too because if that's the case I can easily use something like this like a pocket juice or a um, power bank was what mostly people um, call this and I can use this type of a system to run that heating pad, which means the amount of power I would use to run it would be pretty much hardly anything at all. And these are real easy to charge because um, with the solar setup that I've still got, because um, definitely, of course, I've cut my solar panel and my deep cycle battery, then yeah, I can charge this up real easy though. And some other power banks as well too. I can get a hold of some more power banks that are down the line and it'd be real easy to charge those up and be able to use those. So that's something I'm definitely going to be looking into as well, too, and might very well go ahead and order that, too. Of course, um, this will be after the fact I get my van now. I mean, some of this stuff, I'm very tempted to start ordering some of this stuff right now. But, of course, I can't because, you know, if I do that, then that's having uh, the cart before you have the horse type of thing. So, you know, it's, it's tempting because I do want to um, get some of this stuff already and be set up for when I get the van. But, you know, you got to get the horse first. So you can't be having the cart before you have the horse or we can, but it's not the best way to do it though anyways. So, uh, yeah, I've been doing myself, uh, I've been doing some major research, um, on these different things I'm looking at. Now I did also look at possibly checking into, uh, lithium batteries as well, as far as for my solar setup, but they're, they cost way too much. I mean, it's ridiculous the amount of money that it costs to, um, to get lithium iron batteries. So I'm just going to have to just hold off on that still for a while. Um, I will still be getting different batteries though for the van. I'll be getting AGM batteries though for sure. Um, uh, glass mat batteries is what they're called. But I'll be getting that for sure for the van. And I'll probably be getting, uh, as soon as I can too, I'll probably be getting um, at least a 100 watt battery to start out with. And then possibly another 100 watt battery later down the line as well. So I can have at least 200 watts or more of uh, power in the van. I still have my deep cycle battery I got from Walmart originally, and I will be keeping that too. But what I'm going to do is um, the 100 watt battery I got from uh, Walmart, the deep cycle battery I have from Walmart, um, I'll use it at first until I can get my AGM batteries ordered and get those um, here. But after I get those ordered, and of course, all, keep in mind, all this is after I have the van. So keep in mind that I got to get the van first, of course, before I do any of this stuff. But what I'm saying is, like, after I do get the AGM batteries, though, and have those um, sent to uh, here at the apartment so I can use those, then what I'm going to be doing is putting those AGM batteries in for my uh, solar system setup. Now, as far as the Walmart battery, though, like I said, I am going to keep that. But the reason why I'm going to keep that is because I can use that for power tools. So that way, when you have a fast surge and a fast drain on the battery, I can use that battery to do it because I'm not worried about if it, if that battery tears up, um, I won't be worried about that anymore. Now the regular AGM batteries, um, I'll have that, like I said, set up for sure for my solar panel setup. And I will be um, using that for things like for the fridge and for, um, you know, a TV when I get that later down the line as well too, and stuff like that. Charging up um, battery banks and different things like that. So I'll be definitely trying to take care of that as much as possible. But like I said, I'm not worried about that Walmart battery anymore. Uh, I'll be using that for, for uh, tools, so I'll have that as a backup. And what I'll do on that too is I'll probably just go ahead and have that um, in the, the floorboard in the passenger side in the front 
so that way I won't have to worry about any gases as well with that one which I mean I didn't have no problems either in the past when I had that in my van anyways because I had that over um, um, still in the sleeping area of my van and I never had no issues so, but either way I'll still go ahead and be on the safe side on that and go ahead and put that up front this time around as well do into the, um, the passenger area so uh, yeah that's some plans I'm, I'm working on for you guys um, well let you know let you guys know anyways what I'm working on um, as far as uh, trying to get a van of course first and then things I want to get for the van uh, but like I said I've been watching massive massive videos so I can get all kinds of ideals and get um, you know plans set up as far as what I really want to do and how I want to do the build and stuff like that of course I will need to also get myself a um, a jigsaw as well I do still have my um, reciprocating saw also people call it uh, sawzall I still have that as well too but making cuts with that is horrible especially if you want to make exact cuts anyways it's horrible having to try to use that for exact cuts so I will be trying to get a hold of a um, jig or um, yeah a jigsaw too later down the line as well too um, but yeah I almost forgot as far as accelerating the money part of this, um, like I said, I am still working, of course, obviously, but I get paid every two weeks, so it's a slow process too. As far as still paying on, you know, some bills that I have and um, trying to save us some money. So a way to accelerate this is to, if you guys want to, go ahead and um, buy some things. In other words, I do, or I have talked about in the past that I have uh, built um, programs, uh, building. Um, automation type programs is one of the things that I do as a side thing uh, one of the type of things I've pretty much taught myself how to do and I will have some links in the description area of my video that shows how to um, um, order those there's uh, gig sites that I belong to um, they call them gig sites or some people call them job sites but they're actually more called uh, gig sites or whatever that I'll have those description those um, links in the description area that you can go to and you can order any of the programs that I have if you want and that way it can accelerate that process um, at least if nothing else take a look as far as what I have and uh, you guys can get an idea as far as some of the stuff that I built and some of the stuff that I have worked on um, which actually brings me to one more thing I want to talk about real quick too before I end this video uh, I did recently see somebody um, post a comment on someone else's um, video that I had posted a comment on originally and uh, it's kind of interesting or kind of funny he was talking about how I supposedly had um, turned my back on uh, my dreams, turned my back on van dwelling and stuff like that because of the fact I had got myself a girlfriend. Well, that's all the way, for, you know, as far from the truth as you can get. Because if you're somebody who is my long term subscriber, then you would already know that my dreams actually are to, first of all, work online full time. That's one of my goals that I do want to have for sure. And second of all, eventually have some real estate um, later down the line as well. Have some uh, rental property. Those are my two main goals that I've had throughout the whole time that I that I've had this channel, and it's been my goal actually even before I even had this channel, anyways. Now there is other stuff I have very much thought about. I thought about driving a truck too, for that matter, um, a while ago, and I very very much was thinking about doing that. But then again, too, I don't like the fact of being away from my son um, for a long period of time. I still want to be able to see my son because he means the world to me. Um, so that's why I decided just not to go ahead and do that, though. But, yeah, I seriously was thinking about doing that for sure. Um, but either way it goes, still, my for sure main goals is to be able to work online and to, and, well, to be able to make, you know, a full-time income online and to also um, get some real estate property going too and by the fact of me having a girlfriend and the fact that I have been in this apartment with her means that I've had a steady internet um, connection to be able to do some of that stuff to be able to start working on some of that stuff and that means I've been able to also um, work on my programs a whole lot more because of that fact and because of that reason that's why I have at least 10 different programs that I have built and one of them actually is a very complicated uh, program that it took me a while to uh, actually even put together. And it's also one of my best sellers too for that matter. It's called Backpage Poster is what I call it. But it's where you can um, get on a site called Backpage.com. It's just like uh, Craigslist. And you can uh, post 
ads on Backpage um, through hundreds of different cities if you want to. And it's pretty much an autopilot. The only thing that I was not able to put in here was to be able to solve the captures um, because Google had uh, changed their setup as far as solving captures from what it used to be um, years ago. And it's, uh, it's very complicated. So actually beyond my uh, reach right now or beyond my comprehension right now do. But um, yeah, so otherwise I have been working hard on my goals though. And that back page program is a good example because um, it's a very complicated program as far as everything I have in here as far as features. Like for example, I'll just go ahead and tell you guys quick examples. Um, to help make every single ad look unique, one of the things I did was on the title section where you would post your title for the ad, I've got it set up to where it will post random numbers um, every single time that you put your title in there. So that way it will help your title look unique. And I've also got it set up to where you can do spin text. So that, like to give an example of what I'm talking about is, um, you can have a bunch of different titles all in a row. And it might pick one one time, and then another time it will pick another one. So that way it will look different, it will look like a different title every single time that it's posting even though you're still pretty much saying the same thing but it could be worded in a different way like what I mean is you might say something like um, how to make money online might be one title and another title might say something like um, how to make money fast or um, something like you know how to uh, um, how to make dollars today or something like that. I mean, just different type of titles, but they pretty much mean the same thing. You're, getting, you're still getting the point across. Um, but that's just one example. And another thing I did too was um, have spin text also set up in the description area as well too. So you can have yourself a full, good looking ad in the description area, but you can also have the, the program, you know, post one one time, post another one another time and so forth. Just like I told you about for the for the title area as well, and also I've got random numbers and letters that it will post in that one too, to also help make it look unique. So lots of different um, uh, techniques or tricks or whatever that I put into the program that is a bit of complicated type of program that I had put in there, which it took a lot of scratch in my head and a lot of um, work and effort to make that happen. But yeah, I've got that in there. And my, um, I've got a watered down version that I sell for about five bucks, which means you can post in 50 different cities. And I've got um, a better, higher version to where you can also even use um, proxies as well if you want to. If you don't know what proxies are, go ahead and look that up. I'm not even going to worry about explaining that right now. But go ahead and look that up if you, if you don't know what it is. Uh, but anyways, um, and my best version that I have where it has proxies set up and all the spin text stuff I told you about. It also has um, business ops um, section that you can post stuff into, which actually could be also good too if you have your YouTube channel that you're trying to promote. And I've got over 400 um, cities for the business ops sections, um, and I've also got uh, four, or 300 cities, over 300 cities actually, for the, uh, the creative um, section because they have a section on there called creative at or creative or whatever. I've got over 300 cities on those as well too. Um, these are based in the U.S. as far as where those cities are at though. And like I said, proxy support and spin tech support I told you about and so forth. So I sell that um, version of my program for 20 bucks. That's all that I sell it for, which I really should be selling it for more, but um, whatever. It is what it is. So if you guys feel like you want to go ahead and, and buy that program to promote your own YouTube channel as well, then uh, that'd be great. And like I said, I'll have the description area, um, this, the links in the description area of my video um, that you're watching right now. And uh, I mean, it does take some time still because it's 14 days and I'll be able to collect my money once the, uh, the gig is finished or completed or whatever. Um, so it's still not going to be a fast process. I do have to where I can set up a PayPal um, system, but I have to still set up a separate website to do all that. And that's a lot of extra work right now <laughs> for like messing with. Um, so yeah, if you want, you can just go ahead and order from those gig sites so that I'll have one there though. But um, I've got several other programs that I made too. Um, those other ones are not as complicated as the one I just told you about, but there's still some good features in some of the other ones I've, that I've built as well. So feel free to check those out too. And um, that's pretty much it though for right now. I got other stuff I do work on as far as online too, as far as trying to make money with. But I just wanted to um, 
you know, put that out there as for something that you guys can actually buy yourself though as well. And actually um, speed up this process that way too as far as getting some money together. So uh, that's it guys. Um, if you have any questions or concerns, of course, as always, let me know. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching guys. And you have a great day.